Hello everybody, Randy Rolls here. Um, coming back to you regarding the 91.205H7 radar altimeter issues related to the 5G C-band rollout. We've been working for about three weeks, gaining information and really digging through the AD. I have with me here the AD 2021-2313 related to helicopters. And of course that was the 5G issues where we as operators had to add certain aspects of this AD into the limitation section of our flight manual. We've done that. Um, since then, we were advised by the FAA that if you're within a 5G area, that you would not be able to fly night vision goggles. And that was specifically because of 91205H7, and that was the normally functioning uh, issues related to 5G on a radar altimeter. Well, since that time, we've asked not only the FAA, we've gone to the manufacturers of our radar altimeters, and we've asked across the industry for information, data, something in writing that basically told us we were not able to fly. We have created uh, internal procedures. We have procedures to take off, validate the radar altimeter, in-flight procedures, everything we could do to make sure that our radar altimeters were functioning normally, and we've had no deviations to our equipment in unaided flight. So Helicopter Institute has made the decision, based upon the lack of any additional guidance to the contrary from the FAA, we are going to return to Part 91 NBG training operations. Those operations will be conducted here at the Fort Worth Meacham Airport and other surrounding training areas that we have. And we've instituted internal procedures to make sure that during these flight operations, our radar altimeter is operating normally or functioning normally in accordance with 91205H7. We are very interested to know if within industry, if you're experiencing issues with your radar altimeters due to 5G C-band issues. We are providing a link on the screen to our website where you'll be able to fill out a form, send that information over so we can create a data repository and actually report that information back to the FAA or other entities that may be interested in such data. So thank you very much for your time. For Helicopter Institute, I'm Randy Rolls. Stay safe.